the heck? Sexual harassment allegation. I've been threatened. I'm shocked. I'm just, I'm shocked at this. Hang on a second. I'm gonna get this. There's so many uh, avenues to cover on this video. Many people may be asking, well, Charlie, why are you filming this video in the first place? It's because there's absolutely like total transparency. So when stuff like this happens, I am in the position where it's like, okay, this just needs to, you know, in order for me to move forward, I need to move through this. It's not like, it's so good that, that this comes early because this is something that when you look at a lot of people who are successful in their lives, they have to deal with these kind of allegations. So um, to wrap it up shortly uh, and to give you like the whole story up front, um, this girl and I, and I'm not going to use their names right now just because... I just don't feel like it. Usually I use people's names because it's important that they're included in the ecosphere of our story. But for the time being, like, I don't want to cause any extra anything for them. So dated this girl in um, seventh or eighth grade. Uh, and while this is unrelated to the story, like a little bit of insight for me, like I didn't want to like, like kiss her. Like I was like, no, you just like, we're fine. You know, we're dating. And she basically, you know, came to me as like, hey, if you don't kiss me by the end of the day, uh, I'm going to break up with you. So I ended up, you know, kissing her um, in an uncomfortable way. Uh, you know, so I take full responsibility for that. That's fine. That's on me. So years later, which was actually, you know, um, maybe a month or two ago, I reach out to her. Um, and she has posted, you know, very strong sexually suggesting content on her Instagram. And I, you know, as a young man who is finding his own way in the world, finding how to operate, cooperate, and co-align with all beings, man and woman, and someone who has, you know, a deep reverence just based on the way that I was raised. What I also have is an understanding of the importance of clear communication and our need as men and women to be able to define our boundaries on a spiritual level. Like this, this is, um, you know, it's like obviously what I did didn't constitute harassment. Like I, I reached out to her once, you know, I, I expressed my, my passion and, you know, it was clean. Like I, you know, it's like, I'm not gonna, I can't play the tapes for you here, but, but like if the tapes come out, like, cause I sent voice messages, it's like, well, like you gotta understand series of circumstances and towards the end of it, where she didn't reply, I was like, hey, you know, if you're concerned with my response to this image that you posted, you know, maybe you should just be more careful about the images that you post. We do have to understand, for women and men, we have to understand the potent power that a woman has just naturally by birth. And like Andrew Tate was saying, you know, you walk around with an expensive watch, you're gonna get people complimenting, looking at it, you know, and it's like you, you become a target. So especially when you put extremely, you know, explicit and suggestive, you know, photos on social media, what I'm saying is it's entirely my responsibility for the way that I responded. I'm also saying that it's like, hang on, this is not, like this doesn't deserve, like this isn't like, oh my gosh, forgive me father for I have sinned. I'm like, no, this is a communicative like step. Like I have to understand this. So harassment is defined as, you know, sending messages to annoy someone or to threaten them. The irony here is that by the end of this, her boyfriend reached out to me and threatened to rip my arms off and beat me with them. He later unsent this voice message, um, you know, because he said that he was gonna have his lawyer reach out to my sister and my family, you know, my stepsister and my family, which the irony there is that they already don't support me. They already don't do any, have anything to do with me in this time. So like that doesn't have any kind of effect on me. It's like, now you're just gonna involve them. Um, which again is totally fine because it's something that does need to be discussed between men and women. For me, I'm just personally at a point where like, okay, the second you reached out to me, I learned that like, I shouldn't be taking bold sexual approaches to women in conversation. You know, I had, I had taken the sexual approach and then she said, I have a boyfriend and I'm like, Hey, and, and this is where she didn't reply. And it's like, this is kind of where the line of like, you know, harassment like none of this is to annoy her it, it, it is a very genuine uh approach none of this is to threaten her i didn't do any of that i i did joke like you know like if we hang out like it's gonna be like you know 
like crazy, you know, like it's gonna be like carnage. And you know, the, 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 the boyfriend comes in genuinely feeling threatened apparently because otherwise he wouldn't be doing all this and is like, yeah, dude, you know, I'm gonna, again, like this is, uh, this is sexual uh, harassment. And again, like one approach, she says she has a boyfriend. I say, hey, you know, I just give her my input on, on what I would, you know, I'm like, hey, for me, I would get to a place where you wouldn't just be restricted to one man. Like this is my ultimate goal with my dog here, with the women in my life is to get to a place in our relationship that it's like, you can go and be intimate and, and share love with, with other, you know, other men, like other, you know, like when someone pets my dog and she gets up all up on them and is like licking them and kissing them. It's like, good. Like that's what we want to encourage. Not this like, oh, I own you. So anyway, clearly her boyfriend felt, felt threatened. I'm like, you know, he's like, if you reach out to her again, like it's going to be reported to the authorities. I'm like, dude, I have no interest in her. Like after that conversation, I haven't visited her profile. I haven't looked at any of her posts. I haven't even re revisited our message. So it's just interesting. Um, like this is good for hardening us because we know that like this kind of stuff happens and the, the law is very specific in what harassment is. And if anything, like I've been harassed. Now I know it's like, oh, Charlie, you're, now you're playing the victim. Um, like this is a fair game between men and women. Like this is a fair game. Like this is, hey, you posted like sexually explicit, mirrored, sexually explicit. Simple, simple, natural laws. Like we got to be responsible with our power. So I, I film these videos because it's just like, this is just, this is just me existing. This is me being live, me being vulnerable and me being on the pulse. And that's, that is what the world needs most right now is someone who, someone who's like this, someone who can just be like, Hey, this is someone's coming at me with crazy things. And, and, and I'm here to just, you know, lay the foundation and, and, and be here. Like, I'm not hiding. I'm not running away. Like whatever, whatever happens from this, it's like, come here, like, good. Like, let's, let's get through this. If something that I said offended you, made you feel a certain way, like, good, let's, let's converse now. You know, this is important work for us. Um, it, it's, uh, it's odd. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like show up in court. It's like such a, like, like for me, it's like, okay, great. Here's, here's an opportunity to learn more about women. Um, and at the same time, like I've learned a fair amount where, you know, I had another situation where, you know, like uh, a guy came to me and was like, basically went on and like came at me like I had raped his girlfriend when all that I had done was when she offered to come over and kick, cook me dinner instead of taking the the uh original route that that most men take where it's like yeah we'll come over you know and then you kind of slyly like slip your way in and then it eventually of you know escalates I was just very upfront I'm like hey this like like a business deal like, it's no joke. When you, inter when you engage with another human being in a, in a sexual, intimate way, your frequencies are being exchanged on a, on a crazy level. So I came in and I was like, hey, this is up front. Like, this is, this is like, you know, if you're offering to come over, well, this is, um, this is like what, like, this is the thing that should be discussed now, not the thing that should be discussed last when you feel like you have your foot in the door. And... It's just a simple relationship between men and women. Like I, I reached out to, to, to this girl's boyfriend who, you know, reached out to me and is like, you know, going through this whole legal process now. And I'm like, hey, dude, you know, that's fine. You called me a faggot. You called me a pedophile. Like, <laughs> like whoa, like this is a full on adult that we're talking about. Um, and I'm like, hey, good on you. Like, it seems like she's found someone, you know, that, that can support her. Um, and so I was like, you know, I, I wish you guys well. And at the end of it, I'm like, you know, the one thing that, is not cool is you threatening to rip off my arms and beat me with them. And again, he unsent this voice message after he said that I'm taking legal action. So, you know, I documented it on my phone. I put it in my notes and uh, I figured I'd document it here. My heart is for everyone. My heart is for those two people. And my heart is for me. Like, like if, if I have to be the person that, that, you know, gets put on a cross for this, like I've done this before. Um, it, it, it is an important message, though, because men need to be able to understand and women need to be able to understand the fair, natural 
engagements between men and women. And when things don't work, you just cut them. And that's what we did. So it's like, where's the harassment? Stay alive.